that video yeah. 205 live nxt and of course oh we God. do 205 live first all i can say is tonight's 205 and nxt was crazy it was yeah. interesting too yeah especially the one match in 205 live oh yeah it was um let's say start off with a match um well it was shown with you like but it went right to Drew Gulak with Jack Alher versus Brian Kendrick with Akira Towaza. Mm -hmm. And Brian had it. Brian had Drew. And then all of a sudden Drew had him. Like Drew doing his cheating and stuff. And um, of course, Kira trying to make sure Drew didn't cheat and all that. But, you know, got with her over there, you know, whatever. But I ended up with Brian winning over a DQ because Jack Gallagher attacking Brian. And then. Yeah, freaking British dude. Brian trying to attack Gulek. Mm -hmm. And. Brian in a, has Brian in a submission. Jack makes sure Kira doesn't help to stand tall. And then they stand tall, so. That's how it was. Of course, pretty much doesn't want the good guys to win. They want to win. Pretty much. Yeah. That match was a predictable match. You know it was going to happen. Like, Gal was going to attack, make a DQ or something. Yeah, because he, cause he wouldn't let him, like, get the rope or nothing. He was just... It was crazy. Yep. And then the next match... Which is um, Aria Devaria versus Clay Roberts, a local talent. Yep. And this match, of course, you know what it is with a local talent, of course. Aria's just demolishing him, putting moves on him, this and that. And, of course, Aria, Aria Devari won because of referee stoppage because Clay Roberts passed out. Just like, pretty much. So that was that match. Yep. And then, you got a tornado tag match. Lucha, 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 Lucha. House party. Oh, yeah. First, Mike and Alice and TJP. And that was an attached match. We had like piadas all over the place, mini pia piadas all over the place. Putting TJP on the piadas, and then then they got freaking Maria on the end. She's like to um Kalisa or Grant. I don't know which one it was. She's like, give me the piada. I want the piada, and he's like. Throws it and she, she falls and la lands on Lake Canales. But, um, the winner is Lucha! Lucha! Yay! But, um, the, what was his name? The, not, um, Kaliso, the other one. Grimmett Leak. Grimmett Leak? Well, he had Mike Canales, you know, in the thing. They almost won. But TJP split him up before he could make that win. Yeah. But anyway, at the end, they won. Yeah, Mentalik did a top rope on TGP. Yeah, it was flipping. It was and... like flipping, and it was just an intense, crazy match, pretty yeah. much, you know? It was awesome. I, if I had to pick all those three matches, I'd say the Lucha House Party. Yeah, match. that one That one was the best one out of all of it. Um, Because yeah. not really too fond of the very first match with that stupid British dude. No. Takes off his coat and, and all that. Like, really? No. <laughs> but then you have... NXT! NXT! <laughs> and it starts off a match right away with Matt Riddle, brah. Yeah, brah. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Matt Brill, Yeah, with bra. my flip-flops, man. And bro. Well, yeah, and then I'm barefoot. You don't even know where those barefoot's been, bro. <laughs> well, he went against Punishment Martinez. He looked like a Mexican, Puerto Rican wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> Never seen him I before. Thought he would, I thought he would take him down, you know? He was a pretty big dude. That's why they, this actually, match actually... 
they fought they fought in this match because it actually yeah yeah it was kind of intense a little bit um, and Slight. but Matt Riddle bra made uh, punishment Martinez tap bra yeah bra I don't hate that bra what's bra um and of course when he's celebrating he's like oh, bra yeah mm -mm, I want yeah bra it's so, like he's all droned out like yeah bra like he's like a drone like yeah. <laughs> Seller walked to the ramp, and then behind him, Cassius oh no, ambushed him, looking out, and then leaves. But she thinks Matt Riddle looks like a girl in a dress. That's what you need to put him in. Put him in a dress. Look at his long ass blonde hair. But then he can't be bra. Yeah, he'd be bra girl. Oh, he'd bra. be a girl, y'all. Yeah. Bra, girl. bra. Should I, be, bra? Should I be in a dress, bra? Check out my lovely goldy locks, bra. With my pink de la bra. <laughs> bra. Oh, man. Make and sure I got my hoster bra, you know, yo. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> bra. I don't like that. Peace out, bra. <laughs> I don't know, but I thought you weren't allowed to wrestle in the ring with no shoes on. Because, yeah. Because, uh, well, Rusev had, like, those toe thingy shoes. Things on his feet, and then when he went in SmackDown World, they had Tony told me had put boots on. I thought, so. I thought that was supposed to. You can only you can't wear shoes in um, kickboxing or whatever they call that. It was a kickboxing thing. You can't you you um you. I've seen a lot of them do that with no shoes, but I didn't like you said. I don't think they're allowed to do that with bare feet. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird, because you don't know where those feet's been, and then you want to get kicked in the face by those feet? Yeah, bra. Yeah, could have stepped on dog poop. Who knows? Bra. I, I, <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Get kicked in the face, and all you smell poop. I smell poop, bra. Yeah, bra. <laughs> well, anyway, the next match is Mendoza. Mendoza? Mendoza, I think that's how we pronounce it. With Car Carmelio <laughs> versus... Uh, the Forgotten Sons. It was uh, Blake and uh, Cutler. Yep. And the match was a really, really another good match. Um, but out of, out of all of it, it was the Forgotten Sons who won with a double team from the top rope. Of course, the Forgotten Sons win. Of course. It's funny how Bl Wesley Blake was actually partners with the NXT champion. You know that? I, that's what's funny. Um, but out of that, and then there was an interview with Vel Velveteen Dream. He's just pretty much saying what's next for him and this and that. Pretty much, really. Just yeah, but look what he was him. wearing. He looked like, I mean, he looked like he might be a, you know, he likes, you know, he dressed up like a, you know, girl, kind of. Alright, <laughs> so. She thinks he's gay. Well, he might be. He might like a guy. You think Big E's gay because he rubs his hips and he's not. I don't care, he's still gay. Maybe those two should hook up. She thinks Big E and Velveteen Dream should date. <laughs> That's what Missy thinks. I think we sh they should. They might make a cute couple. Really, Missy? Mm hmm. Yeah, bro. Bruh. Bra, <laughs> bra, bra. bra. will be flappy pancakes. They'll we'll be see, their children. Let's we'll, we'll see some flappy pancakes, bra. Yeah. I mean, they'll be dressed up in clothes and. Pancakes, you know, folded over like look at my baby, like they do with the Miz and uh, Shane McMahon. Oh my God. <laughs> and then there was this little thing with the Undisputed Era and Adam. Well, and they're just they're they're pretty much we're just saying how they're the best team. There's there's nothing better than the Undisputed Era, pretty much. What nah. they're really saying. See, this is just stupid. Adam Cole is the only one that is not with the group. He's just the odd one out because he doesn't wear match up with this group. What is he like the ringleader? Yeah, he's the leader of the group, let's see. Yeah, but still, shouldn't the leader be part of his little... Well, Shield sometimes don't wear a shirt. Mm -hmm. And they had their own shirts. Then they got their own shirts. Yeah. But, and then, there was a next match. Dakota Kai. Sweet. That looks like Bailey, I swear. She kinda she, does. She should be tag teams with Bailey. She looks like Bailey. For Shayna Baszler. Of course, Shayna Baszler has her two 
curly girls with her. No eyebrows? They're ugly. I'm sorry. She, has like, she don't even have like eyebrows. You can't even really see them. I don't know. But that was a really good match. I even though Shayna tried to break Dakota's arm in the match. Numerous of times. She tried to make sure she didn't. Um, but she ended up winning because she had her in a submission, but Dakota didn't tap. She just passed out. And then, of course, all of them were attacking Dakota at the end of the match. And then Io Shirari comes to help Dakota and attacking it. And then Shayna trying to attack Iowa. And then Iowa Shirari attacks Shayna and makes her roll in the ring because... Dakota tries to attack her, and they stand tall. Yep. Pretty much. We thought Kari, Sh Kari Shane was going to come out and help, but no. Maybe next time. We didn't see Nikki Cross either. No, I was like, where is she? We definitely saw Tony Nese, Ab Checker, and... Uh... Yeah, he was just saying about... What was he saying? What was he talking about? I really don't care. I think he was talking about his... Um, the belt or something, maybe. Probably being a champ or something. And then the ending of NXT was Ciampa, of the course. The belt to her. Make a lover to it. Yeah. He was just talking about war games. And the people refused him as champion because they booed him right before he came out and stuff. Before he talked. But they said, you don't believe him. Um... And then he goes, Mamma Mia, here I stand, which is a Mario thing, really. Why would you say Mamma Mia? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, and then he'll have Luigi in there. And what is he doing? Uh, have Peach on the set, too, with Yoshi. And he goes, he's 2018 Sport Entertainer of the Year, and he's going to be 2019. And then all of a sudden, Alistair Black comes out. He's talking. And then, of course, Gargano comes out. And they're talking, and then, uh, what's his name, Ciampa's saying, do you guys want to see Black and Gargano in a steel cage match? And Gargano's like, do you guys want to see that? They were all going, yes, 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 yes. Uh, I technically, that might be interesting. Yeah. And then, Johnny's like, he's not afraid, he'll go in a steel cage, he'll beat him. Backstage, anywheres. What now? They're talking about... Because he beat him that one time. Uh, made him go out. And then Black said, Johnny Wrestling is dead. He showed mercy to him. And then Johnny's like, yeah, no. I, I want to see you in a steel cage and this and that. And then Black kicked Gargano. Made him roll out of the ring. And then they're staring. And then he kicked Ciampa. And just pretty much didn't look. He's on top ramp and he's in the ring just staring each other down yeah very much i very much that was nxt so um if i say that was crazy it was intense yeah, yeah. Um, it, had its, it had its ups but there had a couple downs like it was some of especially it was, bra yeah bra yeah no feet bra i may have stepped in dog poopy bra but can't help it. Maybe I actually, or maybe I went to the bathroom before I came to, to the, the ring. Oh man. Oh boy. So what did did you, did you like two hundred five live? What did you like about it? Mm -hmm. Pretty much only probably like the Lucha House Party, or do you Lucha. like Lucha Lucha Lucha, <laughs> or Arya Davari, or freaking Brian Kendrick? Or do you like bra? Or do you like, or do you like bra? Do you do you did you? Like Are you a fan of him? Or, or do you think he should wear some type of shoes, too? Why does he got to be different than the rest? Do you like the Forgotten Son? Do you like the Quarter Kai? Do you like Shayna Baszler? Let us know. Let us know how you felt about NXT. Or do you want to see Nick, hopefully see Nikki Cross next week? Nah. I haven't seen her in a bit. Um, do you want to see Black and Gargano in a steel cage? Ooh. Ooh. And Nikki Cross on the top sitting there saying... I told you so, or something else. Yeah. And, yep. All crazy, or like she's going around the whole cage, like batting or something. That would be interesting to see. Yep. That's what we want to hear from you. Yeah. 
Here we go. We want to. We want to see. And what, like, I, like we've been saying, do you know any other shows that might be interesting that you like? Or you do have your favorite wrestlers, you know, or, um, well, there's a rumor going around that Roman's supposed to be coming back. Yeah, that's what people say. I don't know if it's true. Is it true? Tell us if it's true. We want to know. Yeah. And then they were talking, and then also, like, with Crappy Cena, he was talking about he might be a good role for, what was it, Captain America? Yeah. <laughs> there's a rumor going around about that. Well, we already know somebody would be overjoyed with that, if that ever happened. Yeah, I Sandra. Yeah, RJ, too. Yeah, RJ. But me, personally, no. I'm sorry, he would not fit the role for Captain America. No, I, it needs to go to someone. It needs to stay with the original one that was originally Captain America. Yeah. He was a better actor with it. Yeah, so, let us know. Tell us any wrestling news that you know. Like, even on that Dynamite Kid, right? That's Dynamite yeah, Kid. Yeah, Dynamite Kid. He passed away. Yeah, like, what What are your feelings on him? I remember watching him when I was younger. So, so, so we're going to rest up peace on Dynamite, Dynamite Kid. Yeah, do, do you, did you like him? Or do you, um, what is your other, like, old, do you like older wrestlers too? Do you like, um, Bret H Hitman Hart? Do you like, um, do you even like Triple H? You know, like, the old ones. Or even, like, NXT wrestlers. Do you like any of them? Yeah. Let us so, know. So, let us know. We like to hear. So, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.